Okay, this is a video about press sheets. If you don't know what a press sheet is, that is the way that the post office prints stamps. Stamps are all printed on large sheets. Like it's just large sheets of stamps and then you get cut up, they, they cut up those sheets into smaller sheets to sell to you. Um, but you can buy these things called press sheets, which can only be found in the collector zone area of the USPS website. Not in the stamps area of the USPS website because I guess they figure only collectors are gonna want eight, six, 12, sheets of stamps, of one set of stamps, but I love them. I love them especially when it's a stamp that I really want, and I know I'm gonna buy a lot of that particular stamp. So we have two new stamps out that you can get press sheets of, and let me show you these press sheets. This is the thank you press sheet. Like, so these stamps are amazing on their own, but look how amazing they are when you can have eight of them. And I guess the idea is that people collect these, like the whole sheets of them. And I think it would be really dramatic if you like framed a bunch of stamps, um, which I mean, as art, it's not that expensive. As a bunch of stamps, it's expensive. I think, you know, this is what, this is eight sheets of stamps at 55 cents per stamp. I don't know, it's like $88 maybe. Um, but yeah, these have foil printing, which is super nice. I just, they're great. And you can see on the back, it's got like the plate position printed out. So when these were cut, they would show you where it was on the sheet, where it had been cut from. So that's neat. Those are great stamps. And then we've also got the new innovation stamps, which again, did they tell us? Did they tell us they were gonna be holographic foil for the text? No, no, nobody said anything. Nobody said it. Nobody was like, put a boomerang on your official account of like, look at the stamp. How hard is this? I just, I know, I know there are people there that know design. I'm not certain there are people there that know social media, I guess, is what I'm saying. Not that I know social media, but I at least know how to make a boomerang. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there with videos. I'm getting there with, you know, things. In any case, these are beautiful stamps. You can buy press sheets of them. If you're looking for a stamp that maybe isn't available, from the website anymore, check the collector zone for the press sheet if you want it that, that many of them. The only thing to be wary of is that like when you buy booklet stamps, you know, like for example, the summer vegetable stamps is a booklet stamp. When you buy booklet stamps on a press sheet, they are double-sided, which makes sense because they fold over into a booklet, but there are, because of the way that the stamps would get cut into the booklets, they're not gonna be cut on the sheet. So you'll have like this double stamp built in, which can be good, but it also can be annoying if you just need one stamp. In which case, just use scissors and cut them apart, it's fine. <laughs> like it's, it's not a huge issue, it was just something that I wasn't prepared for the first time I got a press sheet version of a booklet stamp. Um, and you can buy dollar stamps this way, like if you need a whole bunch of dollar stamps, buy yourself a press sheet. If, if you need a whole bunch of any stamp, buy a press sheet. But you have to go to the collector zone of the USPS website to get them. Um, they come in really nice tubes. I use the tubes for remailing things. They're, they're really nice sturdy cardboard tubes. And yeah, there's really, there's not a downside. I mean, the downside is you have a lot of one stamp, but Presumably you bought a lot of that one stamp because you want to use a lot of that one stamp. So that's my tip is buying press sheets. I did do a blog post on this, but I figured a video was needed simply to show off the awesomeness of those two stamps. And yeah, that's my tip.